Welcome back everyone to Improve Your Photography. My name is Miguel Quiles and today I'm here in the studio with Emily. We uh, worked together, what, like two and a half years ago? Yeah. Something like that. So she's back in the studio today and she's gonna help me to show you guys how I'm gonna set up this three light setup, one of which is gonna be gelled. It's kind of an easy setup, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk you through this whole um, lighting and camera and lens setup so you guys can hopefully recreate this on your own. So let's talk about our main light here. We're using a Profoto D2 and I have it inside of a Profoto 5 foot Okta. This is probably one of my favorite light shaping tools. I've actually gone through periods where for six or seven months this is the only light modifier that I'll use for all of my shots. Figured out a lot of different ways to kind of change it up and make it different but today that's what I'm using for my main light. Before I go any further, I read the comments and people say, oh man, Miguel's got, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of pro photo lighting. I don't, so I can't do this. Wrong. I said this in my first episode of Improve Your Photography. Listen, you don't have to use the exact same equipment, right? You don't have to use the same camera, the same lens, the same lights. Back when I first started doing this, I used what I had. And at the time I had shop lights. I went to Home Depot and bought shop lights and I tried to recreate the type of lighting that I was seeing. And so don't get hung up on the specific stuff that I'm using. I'm just letting you know for reference. If you have a strobe of some other maker model, give it a try, put it in the same relative position to the model. And I think you guys are gonna get a great setup. But anyway, that's my little blurb there. Uh, we've got a Kupo stand here and it's got one of the boom arms. And I, I think this is something I'm going to link in the uh, description below because this is probably one of my favorite purchases that I've made. It's very, very versatile, uh, holds really heavy modifiers. And in this case, I mean, the five footer is pretty big, but it's very, very stable. I've got a sandbag on the bottom of this just to make sure that it doesn't move around too much. And so that's going to be our main light. We still have Emily here. She's still hanging out. Uh, for our backlight, we have a second Profoto D2. This one has a beauty dish with a grid, and I believe it's a 25 degree grid. And where she's gonna be standing, it's basically just giving her a nice uh, separation light, a nice hair light um, to kind of separate her from the background. So this is not going to be in the frame. It's just slightly outside of the frame. Then let's go take a look at our background light and our background light is a Profoto uh, B1. I've got one of their reflector dishes on there and I just went ahead and put a blue gel. All this is doing is basically flashing the white wall and creating this blue, uh, kind of a bluish background to give a little bit of dimension and a little bit of interest to this particular portrait that we're gonna take. So this is our lighting setup. Uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about our camera and our lens. For the camera and the lens, I'm gonna use the Sony a7R III and the 100 2.8 STF lens. I've had a lot of people asking me in the comment section, why do I love this lens so much? To be honest with you, it's probably one of my favorite portrait lenses to use, whether it's in the studio or outdoors, because it gives you the type of sharpness that you would expect to get out of a macro lens, like the 90G. Um, but it also gives you some really beautiful bokeh that you would expect out of a lens that's like a f1.8 or an f1.4, but you're getting it at uh, f2.8. So it's kind of cool, uh, great lens. In this case, it's gonna do a really good job to be able to separate her from the background, give us a nice blur uh, to the background as well, because what we're doing is we're just using the studio that uh, my, my just regular old studio is gonna be my background. So we're not gonna use any seamless paper or anything like that but I wanna blur all that because I don't want that to be in the photograph. So that's gonna be our setup. Profoto Air Remote is gonna trigger everything. We're using high-speed sync for all three of these lights because what I wanna be able to do is to shoot at a very shallow depth of field. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's start shooting.
All right, everyone. So hopefully this made sense for you guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, my goal truly is to help you to improve your photography, hence the name of this show. So any way that I can help you do that, uh, just ask those questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to it. The other thing I would recommend to you is to join the Facebook group. If you go on Facebook, go to improve your photography, join the group. I think we're up to like 3000 members right now. A lot of great photographers there that can help you out to answer questions. So if I can't get to it in the comments, ask it in the group and they'll get to you there. Gonna go ahead and link Emily's Instagram in the comments below or in the description below. And uh, so again, make sure you follow her, follow me on Instagram as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody.